Hi, Keith here. Past version 3 has changed the way it does some things. So it's worth going through and looking at some of these changes to see how to do some of the things we did in past 2 in past 3 and look at some of the changes. Now most of these changes are designed to make things more consistent and more obvious in the sense of it's more obvious why you would do something that way. Um, I've got the map up here I'm using with my simulated data and I won't say anything much more about that. Here's the data which I'm going copy control C and here I've already started past three and I'm going to go column and row attributes on click in this particular cell here in order to do the paste. Now the reason I'm clicking in that cell is because I have the first row as labels for the variables and the first column here is labels for the rows. If you didn't have labels for the rows you would select in a slightly different location. I cannot imagine a situation where you would not have labels for the columns. So if you didn't have labels for the rows, you would click here. Okay, paste. So row labels have come in, everything else is in here as we might expect. Now, the first two variables here are grouping variables and I need to tell past three that that is the case because then it will interpret them appropriately. And I also want to change from black dot to better symbols. So I'm going to select in here and I often use cursor keys as I find it's easier and I select the grouping variable which has numbers and another variable. In this case it's the x coordinates but um, past wants another variable there. Okay and then I can go edit row colored symbols and I get this. And the two middle sites are potentially polluted so I'm going to give them fill squares different from the others and then I'm going to use a graded scheme here that goes shallow to deep and it always helps when you're doing color schemes and symbol schemes to think about what it is you're trying to indicate close now if I go and try and change for instance the symbols past will unfortunately set the colors back to black and vice versa. So I can get rid of um, row attributes and I can get rid of column attributes. Now this is based on a question that came in and it's to do with putting on convex hulls and this will be easier to e illustrate than explain. Um, and now I just need to move this one there. So, and I'm going to work with the environmental variables. Now with PCA, I can use covariance variance, variance matrix, in which case we'll use the original values, or I can use the correlation option, in which case it will use the correlation matrix. And that is equivalent to working with normalized variables but just for demonstration and simplicity I will standardize these variables so that's the formula it's going to go down each column in order take the current cell subtract the mean for the column and divide by standard deviation and there we go now, normally for PCA, I would select the environmental variables. This time, I'm going to select as the first variable, the grouping variable. 
multivariate ordination principal coordinates and here's the panel of results and it's variance covariance if I switch to correlation it doesn't change anything because I've already normalized the variables down here groups um, at the moment I'm saying disregard look at the values over here within group recompute values change between group recompute values change now the values for between group are similar to the values for ignore group which is suggesting to me that much of the variation here is between the groups rather than within the groups now I don't specifically know what this option means in detail so that's just my guess scatter plot the thing we're interested in and let me just make the symbols a bit bigger okay so we've got squares which are the polluted symbols which are the unpolluted and if I put on the by plot going more or less left to right is nutrients versus depth and sediment so as we're going this way we're getting into deeper water with more nutrients and this way shallower water with larger particle size and then this axis here is hydrocarbon so this particular site is more highly polluted than this site here which is not much more polluted than the reference sites okay row labels puts on the labels for the individual rows which is often useful group labels now puts on the groups one two three four and if I had used text labels I assume I would get text values showing up there convex holes now convex holes as you can see connect the points or the symbols or the samples for each of the sites and it can be a useful addition to illustrate within versus among variability with looking at sites and samples within the site the main thing you need to do now in pass 3 is have a designated grouping variable and drag it over so that it is in front of the environmental variables <laughs>